Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, today we're going to be checking out the Pro X product line from Bear Dynamic. We have two new mics and two new sets of headphones. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, two new mics. We have the M70 Pro X and the M90 Pro X. This is the M70, the end address large diaphragm mic. It, it's not a um, it's not a capsule, but dynamic uh, element. We've seen a lot of mics like this, and they get used often for other studio applications, kick drum, guitar amps, things like that. So this actually is killer on kick drum. Uh, then we have the uh, the M90 Pro X, and um, they really don't have a whole lot of proximity effect, which can be good or bad. I I think that a lot of people just don't have a perfect room, so you could just get right up on the mic and avoid hearing a lot of the room. Now the condenser mic I think sounds better on my voice um, out of the two mics. If I had to do like a podcast, of course time will tell. You know, it really takes time to learn a mic. Uh, with the headphones, I can give you my impression almost right away but with the mics time will tell as far as you know, the different types of vocalists that I can get in here over the next year and the different types of guitar amps different applications different types of preamps so it really takes a while to judge a microphone nice present top end um, I'll try it on drum overheads for you just to give you a sense of how it sounds on some sort of musical instrument Um, overall, it sounded, it sounded pretty good on drum overheads. It might have been a little bit too bright for me, but again, time will tell. I'll have to try it on, on other sources to see where it really shines. Let me just add a little bit of compression to this mic, and I'll show you how it handles that. Okay, so we have a pretty aggressive compression here, 10 to 1 ratio. Real aggressive, and, and overall, I think it sounds really good. Okay, so here we have uh, the dynamic mic, the M70 Pro X, check one, two, hey, hey. This is with compression and no compression, check one, two, check one, two, hey, hey, hey. With the pop filter, check one, two. And with compression. So, yeah, I mean, I th I'd say if I had to pick, at least for my voice, I'd probably go with the condenser. But then again, this is like that, uh, you know very in-your-face type broadcaster type sound. Check one, two, check one, two. So it, it loses proximity effect pretty quickly. So I would say if you had a, a foam cover on this or use the pop filter, I'd say you're set, you know? It gets almost no room, which is pretty incredible. Check, check, check. Yeah, it's really, really dry and direct. So that's the two microphones. As far as the headphones go, we have the DT700 Pro X and the DT900 Pro X. First impression is that both headphones, I thought, were just fantastic. I really enjoyed hearing music through both of them. Uh, the closed back had a little bit different mid-range. Uh, it definitely was different, but the low end and the high end in both headphones, it was pretty similar. They are colored enough to actually enjoy what you're hearing, but they're not colored too far to where you can't mix on them or make critical decisions using them. A lot of people say that the open back headphones would be more of the mixing uh, uh, type. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, you get more of a feeling that you're in your own little world when you have closed back headphones. They block out noise better. I've used them behind the drum kit. You know, they they excel at that, right? Uh, these have really, really been great headphones. I've used them for about a month now, and every time I put them on, it just feels really solid. They, they definitely kill my other headphones that I have here, uh, for sure. DT700s are a little bit louder than the 900s. Overall, um, I think these are pretty low ohm rating, and they're designed to sound really good no matter what headphone amp that you use. I really like the pairs of headphones. 
Um, you know, they're both great. I mean, these would be great for the house when the kids are just going nuts. Um, these would be great for here in the studio on like uh, maybe like a Zoom call where I need critical listening, but I don't need perfect isolation necessarily. So, man, just some powerful, powerful tools here. So I'd love to know your thoughts on, on all of these. Um, I'm thinking that for the microphones, we're going to have some shootouts. Um, you know, shootouts against common mics that we know. I think that's probably the best way to demonstrate the microphones. And for the headphones, I'm thinking it might just be cool to have like a listening party and get some people's reactions. I think that's probably the best way to do it. There's really no way for me to transfer over a video how a pair of headphones sound. So I think just some honest reactions from people with headphones that we all know versus these headphones. You know, I think that's the best way. It's just those reactions and just getting people's feedback in real time. That'd be the best way to, to cover the headphones. I'll be doing that in the next month or so. But I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Hanging out in the comments below.